I'm here at the Museum of Broadcast Communications, and I'm standing in front of the media tower here. Guys, take a look at this archaic wonder of technology that we have here. I mean, we're talking from the very beginning and when things really started to pop off. I'll bet you all of like five gigs could probably fit inside there, right? Well, we are here for the Louder Than Words exhibit. We mentioned that, and it's incredible. We're talking about how uh, rock music had the influence and the power to change and to affect social change. And so let's introduce you now to Justin Kulisek, who is the VP of Innovation here at the museum. Justin, what can we expect to see today? Yeah, good morning. Um, basically, Louder Than Words, takes you from Eisenhower through Trump and it looks at the rock music of the time and how it affected and reflected society. Yeah, this is a pretty cool exhibit. More than 50 artists have their exhibits here. Original lyrics, show costumes, some incredible, incredible artifacts to walk you through. Lots more history to talk about here today, guys. We'll be here all morning. Justin and I will get you covered on it. I am at the Louder Than Words exhibit at the Museum of Broadcast Communications. This exhibit features lyrics, costumes, and instruments from more than 50 artists and political figures. So one of them we're going to take a look at right now are the original lyrics Two times they are a change in from Bob Dylan, Justin Kolevsek, the VP of Innovation here at the museum. Justin, what can you tell us about this piece? Yeah, so these are 100% genuine, the original lyrics, um, Bob Dylan, Times They Were Changing, and uh, his harmonica. Um, this was basically, you know, this, this song kind of became a, um, you know, the, the voice of a generation, if you will, um, after... JFK was assassinated. Uh, he played this song for the first time that Great. evening, and you, uh, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, guys. A lot of history. Yeah, this is an awesome exhibit. I got your sunshine right here. I got everything you need. Don't worry about it. But yes, we are here live at the Louder Than Words exhibit at the Museum of Broadcast Communications. And this is actually one of the main rooms that we're looking at in here. And, you know, Justin, take us through some of the, some of the incredible artists and what their messages were at that time. Yeah, so this is um, the outfit worn by Dee Snyder when uh, he testified before Congress um, against the Parent Music Resource Center, um, wanted to put uh, a label on all music, and so that was one thing here. Uh, but then, you know, as we keep moving over, we have things like original lyrics from Born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. So kind of a little wall dedicated to uh, Vietnam vets, um, you know, in this case, Born in the USA, but still in Saigon. Um, and that's really, uh, you know, what this was about, this area. Um, then we get a little more into the mid 80s here. Gotta have Madonna in this mix, come we on. We have Madonna's uh, Like a Virgin shoes, and also on the other side, um, uh, some of the jewelry worn uh, at the 1984 MTV Music Awards um, when she did her famous Like a Virgin uh, uh, song. We also have the uh, Village People, original costumes. Village People, of course, are also coming to Chicago at the uh, mid-September as well. Yeah. Um, so that'll be fun. And um, really, again, the exhibit goes through uh, different... Uh, different themes throughout. So we've we've got uh, civil rights and gay rights and women's rights, um, censorship, things like that. Awesome, Justin. Well, thank you. We know we've got uh, some more exhibits and some more displays to show you, including Bob Marley right here. I mean, this is the man right here, right? This is why I came. We are here at the Louder Than Words exhibit at the Museum of Broadcast Communications, taking a look at how rock and roll music influenced social change. And I'm here with Justin Kolovtsik, the VP of Innovation here at the museum. Justin, what do we have here? Yeah, so we have Al Jorgensen's uh, guitar that was actually in protest to George W. Bush being reelected. So that's why it's a W there. We also have um, American Idiot, so Green Day's uh, uh, lyrics for American Idiot right here. And then right behind me, um, here, 27 years ago, uh, yesterday, this saxophone was used on the Arsenio Hall show by Bill Clinton. So this is kind of the, uh, the uh, what made Bill Clinton the Elvis uh, president. Pretty much made him famous. Can't disagree with that. And he learned how to play saxophone in high school. So more interesting artifacts, lyrics, costumes, lots more to show you here at the Museum of Broadcast Communications. We are here at the Museum of Broadcast Communications for the Louder Than Words exhibit, which takes a look at how music influenced some of the most important conversations and social change in our time. From Eisenhower to our current president, it really covers it all. And uh, Justin, you've been walking us through all morning some of the most important exhibits here. We've got a few here in this room we want to share. Tell us about them. 
Jonathan. Yeah, so right here we have Kendrick Lamar's um, orchestration for the song All Right. Also uh, some different protest pieces uh, from Trayvon Martin um, and uh, some other protest signs as well. Um, but again, the exhibit takes you through um, not only the music, but also the social uh, you know, what was going on socially at the time. And so uh, that we've got that piece. We have um, something from 2009. We have Aretha Franklin's hat from uh, Obama's inauguration. So pretty cool yeah. to have that here. Um, you know, and then as we just kind of keep moving on, we even have things, we've uh, uh, an item from Melissa Etheridge here um, after she was diagnosed with cancer, first time that she came back, um, uh, first time that she made an appearance after uh, cancer treatment. Um, and then um, over on the right here, we also have Eric Clapton's Birdland guitar, also known as Birdie, uh, was used at the concert for Bangladesh, but also, uh, uh, also during uh, uh, Guitar Gently Weeps by the Beatles. So that's kind of a, a, an amazing artifact to have here as well. Um, all at Louder Than Words. Mm. Rock Power and Politics, taking a look at some of the most important debates in our country through the lens of rock music. It's been an incredible experience here. Thank you so much, Justin, for having us. You guys got to check it out. Museum opens at 10 a.m.? Museum opens at 10 a.m. and you can get tickets at museum.tv. All right, wonderful. Well, got to come out and enjoy this, everybody. It is an incredible exhibit. Come take a look straight from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to right here in Chicago. Come and check it out. The Museum of Broadcast Communications, Louder Than Words exhibit.